Our parents think what we're doing is really cool. That sounds sarcastic, doesn't it? Now our parents think it's great. I can't say that without sounding sarcastic, but they really do. An exhibition that features headphones and animal masks, Hans Jana's audio guides take young and old alike on a journey into the world of art. Humor instead of academic lectures, that's Hans Jana's pitch, making art accessible. These are beings that have somehow ended up in a different world. They're here to break down fears of the unknown and divert attention from a real context, which can seem dry and very formal. Our masks are meant to destroy that context. The Hans Jana Collective got its start three years ago and went into business this year. Now, like most creatives in Berlin, the artists are looking for affordable studio space. Supporting and promoting creative industry is on the agenda at the Chancellery in Berlin. It's hosting a gathering of creative newcomers and cultural pioneers. 32 startups are here to meet politicians, including Hans Jana. We produce audio guides for institutions and cultural events. It's all about the empowerment of women through performance. I'd say the crazier something is, the more potential it has. Innovation and entrepreneurship prove that there's no such thing as crazy. It's just a category defined by normal people, and progress only happens if you don't accept norms like that. The Hans Jana Collective definitely don't accept norms. Being labeled a women's company gets on their nerves. When men go into business, it's called a company, not a men's company. <laughs> there are certain things that are seen as male, like establishing contacts and demanding more money, or talking about yourself. But these are things that we practice and make a conscious effort to do, even though we aren't comfortable doing them, because we know they're important and we have to learn how. Now they've got a chance to show what they can do. 600 applicants in Germany vied for the title of National Creative and Cultural Pioneers. The prize? A year of individualized training courses, organized by Christoph Backes. People who are actively creative and struggle with precarious work are incredibly qualified. They have enormous potential. The first thing we have to do is teach them to appreciate their value, that their work is really great, that society needs them. The second thing is to get them to stop working for nothing. In one session, we spread money out on the desk and tell them, burn it, because that's what you're doing if you carry on working the way you do now. Germany's creative capital, Berlin, offers many sponsorship opportunities, but compared to the tech sector, funding is thin on the ground. The Hansiana partners try not to think too much about their precarious livelihoods. Some are studying theater sciences, others have part-time jobs to keep them going. Their performances don't generate enough income for six, at least not yet. I just don't feel poor. 
I probably am objectively, but I have a really great life. You're probably asking yourself, just how does this performance increase capital? Hans Jada is currently putting on 50 performances a year, and nowadays, every one of them is paid. A lesson they've learned as creative entrepreneurs. 